Hey everyone, Rayo here and welcome back to Maxing Melee. Before we get started, I just wanted to say a big thank you to all of the viewers and the supporters of this channel and the um, those that watch the series and catch the live streams. It's been awesome coming back and making content. The growth has been nuts over the past couple weeks, so I just want to say thank you guys for watching the content. I've really been enjoying it and it's just been a very fun journey. So with all that being said, if you want to catch my live streams, I have been streaming on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. You can join my Discord, link to which will be in the video description, and you can also join my friends chat in game, which is just Rayo, and uh, we can chat while um, while I'm hanging out in game or while I'm streaming and all that good stuff. And um, this is tentative, but if you are interested in like boss masses or anything like that, I am planning to do some on stream over time. I don't have like any date set for any, but um, I like to play with viewers. So if you are a viewer and you like to game, let's do it. So. Anyway, let's get into the video. Today's video for Maxine Melee is going to be focused on the Exit Kill, the tier 95 main hand, or the tier 95 2H for melee and its special attack and how we can use it. The special attack is pretty strong. You know, pricing aside, it is pretty darn strong. I've been using it. I have put it in the EOF and you might think, wow, that kind of sucks. But it's actually, um, it is kind of sucky. I'll be honest. Uh, throwing it into an EOF right away, but it is still very strong. The EZK has a special attack called Igneous Cleave, which in short is a very strong, a very strong bleed. The bleed basically will do a very hard, I want to say power hit up front. We don't really have like power and condition in this game, but we have basically um, burst damage and then damage over time. So the first hit is a burst damage kind of hit, like a power hit. It's not a bleed, but then all, well, I think it's not, but all the succeeding hits or all the following hits are bleeds and so basically what happens is you start off with the easy k and you can see it's going to do a really big hit right up front it did the 3858 and then it's going to bleed 1579 1657 1739 a total of six times and each time that that hit goes on it's going to increase by five percent each time so the hits just go up and up and up now, when it comes to using the EZK, it has some other special effects. So I have it in my EOF, which is, like I said, kind of lame, but it's uh, for a reason. And that is so I can use the Masterwork Spear of Annihilation when using the, e the EZK spec. Now, the EZK is a bleed, so the Masterwork Spear will increase bleeds duration by 50%. So if the EZK does six bleed hits right up front, it is going to make that a base of nine hits right up front. Now the EZK has another benefit, and that is that it can be extended five more times. It can be extended with five more hits by using bleeds during its duration. The best way to use the EZK is to, when you're in the middle of encounter, you want to swap to your spear, and then have your Ring of Vigor equipped, use the EZK spec, oops, use the EZK spec, dismember, swap back to your main hand Scourge and offhand to do like a basic to upkeep those abyssal stacks, swap back to the main, or swap back to the spear, tendrils slaughter if you have a walkable target swap back to your main hand and then your off hand and then when dismember comes off cooldown swap back to the spear and use it one more time and then you can see that i have five stacks of igneous cleave on my target this means i've extended it five times and that damage is going to be doing some pretty chunky hits you can see it's already doing in the three thousands and this is without having like overload or any sort of buffs going on now zerk wouldn't affect the bleed hits i think zerk affects the initial hit of igneous cleave the power hit right up front so it's not worthless to use in a zerk like on, on your last hit if you have the adrenaline but that is my thought i can't i don't i can't really confirm that right now i'm not some like numbers pro but it is basically a very strong spec another reason to use this is the damage is great it, it really beefs up the bleed rotation really makes your off zerk rotation damage a lot more consistent in my experience but it also adds another bleed to benefit from the jaws of the abyss passive effect which is an additional two percent adrenaline per basic in total you want to use you want to max out those stacks so you basically want to use all your bleeds during igneous cleave right so if you use all your bleeds you have abyssal parasites dismember igneous cleave tendrils and slaughter that's five bleeds you are getting a bonus 10 percent adrenaline on top of your base adrenaline gain when using basics so it's almost there's almost no reason not to use igneous cleave while you use this helmet because you're going to gain all that adrenaline back very very fast 
while you're swapping to your main hands to do your basics to upkeep those those abyssal parasite stacks and that should give you enough adrenaline to use your tendrils your slaughter and then when you use your basic dismember to apply another bleed that's going to give you a nice chunky amount of adrenaline so it's just a very good synergy with the jaws of the abyss helmet and then of course uh, this isn't really easy k related but the Abyssal Scourge, um, when you apply those bleeds, you have a baseline plus 2% uh, adrenaline gain with the Jaws of the Abyss. So you have a lot of adrenaline gain from your bleed rotation. So, I mean, you would have that virtually if you didn't use the, EO, e, the EZK, but you're going to have more adrenaline gain from using the EZK, if that makes sense. It's It might sound minuscule, but it's actually pretty powerful, especially in real encounters, which we'll get into today, which is going to be Raksha and Hard Mode Vindicta. I've never done hard mode Vindicta, but I can't do normal mode Vindicta because whenever I do like my PRs and stuff, I kill it too fast to even get into a bleed rotation. So I wouldn't be able to actually test it there. But hard mode Vindicta has a lot more health and a lot more phases. So I think I'll be able to get a good test of the EZK there. So let's start there and then we'll take it into Rakja and then we'll kind of cycle back and talk about it afterwards. All right, hard mode activated. Um, we'll just keep spawn speed to standard because we're going to teleport out after every single kill. And we'll start now don't mind this inventory this looks very intense this is my raksha preset so just <laughs> this i have no idea what vindi is going to require but uh this already preloads my enhanced gloves of passage and vindi doesn't have uh you're not able to poison vindi so i don't use cinder banes and i don't use weapon poison so it would just be kind of a waste so i wanted to just load the preset that i know will work and this abomination of an inventory is what we're left with so Take this with a little bit of a grain of salt. You're not required to do this for sure. All right, I'm a little nervous because I don't really know what to expect, but uh, all right, start off with the barge. Just a basic rotation, my two basics, and then activate Grim because I didn't do that. Okay, got the normal stuff. All right, so now we're gonna Igneous Cleave. Oh, I should have... Uh, I haven't really been doing good about my Parasite stacks. I also should have uh, walked Corvec there. All right, and then I'm gonna swap back to my spear and then I'm gonna do CGS spec. Oh, see, ooh, that's kind of unfortunate, but um, if I had phased a little bit sooner, that probably would have been better. So, looks like I'm gonna have um, Zerk here in a moment. So I'm gonna kind of get out of combat here. Boom. Ooh, that's a lot of damage, bro. Oh, gosh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, jeez. Yep, there's my sign. Oh, wow. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, I was not expecting that at all. Okay. Got me slack. This is my first time. All right, I'm just going to finish the kill here because... Um, I'm at a I'm at a messy point, so uh, <laughs> I just want to get out of here. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Ooh. <laughs> Oof! Yikes! 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 Okay, so um, yeah, I think what I want to do there is I might want to incorporate a uh, I want might want to incorporate a greater flurry to have my Zerk come off cooldown. See if I can actually skip ZGS. I don't. That's going to be the best thing, um, because I would hate for the same situation to happen where I drop my ZGS and then <laughs> they fly away. <laughs> but I think if I had a better upfront rotation, then I would have actually phased before then. Um, I also have no idea what a good time is for hard mode Vindy, so um, we're just going to try and do better with each each kill. Alright, so I gotta make sure I actually stay with the Scourge on because I wasn't really doing that last time. I forgot to swap back to it. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. I got one, two, bleed, hurricane, swap back to scourge. Then I'm going to get a two hit greater flurry. Yeah, igneous cleave. I didn't hear the animation, so I was a little dangerous there. <laughs> and get the slaughter before they walk. Oh, they have such a big hitbox, so I can't like walk under them. All right, and then I'm going to go into a ZGS spec right here, and then I think I'll be good. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. 
Oh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. I'm not really sure what to do here, I guess. I probably shouldn't adren dump like that, though. I should probably just save up to uh, another Zerk. I feel like that would be the best way to go about this, huh? But I'm just going to finish this kill out again. Man, so much damage. Jeez, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um. <laughs> See, I think... I think Vin I think Gorvex actually attacking a lot faster than I than her animation tells. Um I because I'm taking a lot of damage. And I'm seeing a lot of different hit spots, so I don't I'm kinda confusing it with my trim masterwork. Uh trim masterwork stuff. Alright, let's try that again. And I'm also going to kinda lay off a little bit on the preset. So I'm gonna just take a few things out so that way if I die, I'm not taking a as bad of a hit. In death costs, so I'll just overwrite my base melee preset. That's always the worst feeling when you forget to turn on the grimoire. Go to hit greater flurry. Slaughter right before she flies. Cool. I'm gonna do another greater flurry to kind of help this berserk come off cooldown. Dismember. Cool. And then I'm actually going to Zerk. Oh, there we go. I'm going to do this as well. And then, give her a good old one, two, buckle my shoe. Jeez, bro, that fire comes a lot sooner than you think it would. Okay. I think I can actually do another igneous cleave right yep ah don't die don't die if i die i'm gonna be a little bit disappointed oh okay 1.2 seconds all right so that wasn't too bad this is also kind of like learning the boss <laughs> as well i'm not really used to that final phase but i think that was actually a good take there um, I still got a new improvement, a 146.2, so that's obviously not the best in the world, but that's pretty decent, I think, from, um, from other things that I've seen. Uh, that could be improved a lot, but I don't really want to make this a learning hard mode Vindicta video, so I think a few kills is fine. We can kind of see how the Igneous Cleave really got into that first, like really beefed up the damage going into the second phase points that i think i could improve on with vindicta is um going into that second bleed rotation because you can kind of see that there's this weird gap where zgs isn't the best to use because when i drop a zgs i only have so many auto attacks before she flies away again so i kind of want to stick to zerk because that puts the buff on me and not on the ground and then also a really strong bleed which is good for melee when things kind of keep running out of distance it's nice because it still ticks damage but I want to keep up that bleed rotation on the second, um, after my second Zerk, because that, there's a decent gap, I'll be honest, between when I finish Zerk and to when I go into that bleed rotation. I just kind of waste time because I'm still learning the mechanics there, but I think I could shave off quite a few seconds there. I would say at least if I get more refined in that fight, I could get at least to a sub 140, maybe a 135 or so. I don't know how conservative that is. That might be a little bit, I might be able to do better than that, maybe a little bit worse, but I think I could definitely shave off some time if I got better at that fight. So now let's take this into Raksha. Now Raksha I'll be a little bit more experienced on because um, I've been doing Raksha a lot lately and I feel like I've really settled into a groove of my rotation. Um, and I've been able to get a new PR and that is a 301.2, I believe. Yeah, 
So I would like to get a sub three. That was my next goal. I don't know why I care about a PR on Raksha so much, but it just seems to be the thing I want to do the most. Um, and I'll be honest, Igneous Cleave is probably where I notice. And I'll be honest, Raksha is probably where I notice how effective Igneous Cleave is the most. So let's go ahead and jump on in. I also forgot to Grim there, but we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about that. All right, so you can see him like rotating back and forth between the spear. Trying to get that bleed. Okay, here we go. This is where we can do the big damage. Ah, oh, dang it, that was the wrong skill. All right, that's fine. So something that's pretty cool is I can actually sometimes skip this part of the mechanic. And that can save a lot of time. Oh, I just... Oh, my gosh. All right, we're teleporting out. <laughs> I had a big old brain fart there. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, but that could be better, honestly. So I, I messed up a few things there. I didn't start off with my Grim. So I ended up getting a few extra autos that I could have... I could have phased my phase one faster. Um, which would have saved some time. And then I made a, a miss swap on the, like, right before he went into the, um, I don't know what it's called, like the mind crush thing where you have to click the orbs. I accidentally swapped to the wrong weapon. So if I had swapped to the right weapon and I hit the right numbers, I probably could have skipped that mechanic and saved even more time. And I will say on that note that um, Igneous Cleave has a lot to do with how well that Rockfall phase goes because I charge or I use Igneous Cleave after my Zerk rotation, and then I build up those bleeds, and then pretty much after he does his tail swipe is when I do Igneous Cleave and I do my bleed rotation, but pretty much like a couple autos after his tail swipe is those bleeds really stack up, so when he goes into the Rockfall phase, it's stacking a ton of damage, and all those bleeds are allowing me to get more adrenaline for my basics, so it makes me going into a ZGS rotation um, a lot more realistic or a lot more fluid i should say so that's all ideal on paper i messed that up a lot but let's give this another shot okay there we go now i'm gonna walk if i can yeah that's gonna give some nice damage during this phase all right let's get that last hit of the bleed all right this should be good should be good I think I was, I delayed a few ticks, so I'm probably, yeah, I'm not going to get that skip. So I'm a little bit slow on that part of the fight, but if I can really refine that, then I'd be in a good, a good position. I oh, dang it, I accidentally used my backhand. That was unfortunate. Oh, oh my gosh, hello? Can we use the, there we go. <laughs> I don't know why, lately it's been doing that. I would have preferred to phase that a little bit earlier. If I didn't trip up on my bladed dive, then I would have actually gotten, like before he channeled that attack, but it's not a huge setback. So here I'll go into a ZGS rotation. And then after the ZGS rotation, I will actually go into an Igneous Cleave rotation. And this will help me build up enough adrenaline to Beat the shield, and then actually go into a Zerk rotation. Which has been a huge help for saving time on this fight. Then he does the second tail swipe, and that's when I go and collect anima. <laughs> or, or I die because I thought I was far enough away from the tail swipe and I wasn't. Alright, so third time should hopefully be the charm. That would be great, but... Uh, I guess we won't we won't know until we actually finish this kill, so.
That was a good bleed there. Oh, so close. We were 14k off, but that's fine. Because then I can build up to a good amount of adrenaline. Okay. There we go. A little bit of a delay with the uh, bladed dive. Again. Well, I don't know why my bladed dive is delaying so bad lately, but it is. Probably because I'm probably trying to use it too early. Okay, so that was a decent, decent phase. And I have 50% adrenaline, so... I'm actually going to... Yeah, no, I'm just going to stick with the uh, ZGS rotation. I'm not going to change it up, otherwise I'll throw myself off. All right, I'm actually going to collect anima. Normally, I would go into a zerk rotation, but I wasn't anywhere near 100%, so... I mean, it ended up turning out pretty well. That wasn't a, that wasn't a bad kill. I mean, it wasn't the best time, but I mean, overall, the the phases kind of lined up how I wanted them to. A um, couple things that I would want to change there is obviously I would want my <laughs> I would want to not mess up bladed dive and not use it so soon because then you can see i kind of stutter and i wasted it didn't seem like long but it actually wastes a lot of time it probably was an extra five or six seconds just right there um so i could have possibly phased raksha even soon well five six seconds sooner that would have been nicer and then um the amount of adrenaline i went into phase four with if i have a cleaner phase three at the end then i'm able to get off a bleed and get a couple basics and start phase four with more adrenaline that way when i zgs rotation and i barge i can um zgs use a basic and ideally i'd have enough to bleed assault right away sometimes it's actually a majority of the time that doesn't happen just because of how my phase three goes but when it does happen it makes phase four line up a lot nicer so then I can have enough adrenaline to, right after the second tail swipe, go right into an easy K-spec, build up my bleeds to build up adrenaline for the Zerk right before the shield, or right as the shield is starting. Yeah, overall, that was a pretty darn good kill, I think. It felt smooth. Um, time could be better, but kill was smooth, and I'd like to improve on that. But you can kind of see how the easy K works there. And that's all I have for you today, guys. I uh, really appreciate you tuning in. And once again, thank you guys so much for over 700 subscribers and the growth that has been happening. This is super duper awesome. So if you'd like to catch streams of me actually using this equipment, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, like this video if you enjoyed it. And I hope that you could kind of see how Easy K um, helps out in an actual encounter. I've been enjoying using it a lot. It's an upgrade that I wasn't considering getting at first, but it's actually one of my favorite upgrades to use because that bleed rotation, it just feels so good when you pull it off the right way. So 
Um, if you want to catch me actually use it in other content, definitely make sure to tune into the streams because I use it all the time. But uh, also, guys, make sure to join the Discord if you want to get notifications of when I post a new video or go live. And then if you want to just hang out in game, you can always join my French chat, which is just me at the moment. But no, there's a few people that actually hang out in here every once in a while. And it's pretty nice. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Rayo, and I'll see you next time. Take care.